Hi. And I present to you Mr. Shashank Srivastav. Please come in, sir. Abhimanyu Radha Krishnan. Hello, hi, hi, hi. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Clinton, sir. Hello. Hi, everyone. What's up? Like I was telling you guys, it's not an easy job. Go on stage. Are you all set already? Okay then. Okay, just one question I want to ask, okay? What was your the coolest moment of this journey? One moment you can like never forget whenever anybody asks you about the entire thing, you'll be like, okay, this. I mean, there were many, yeah. but like one specific. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think when so walked in, <laughs> yeah, I kind of, I feel like I manifested it. I was like, someday I want to meet A.R. Rahman, sir. And wow. yeah, that's I basically. <laughs> <laughs> Long list. I'll start today. Okay, all yours. All right. Give it up for Nisa. <laughs> Thank you. So, of course, I'm absolutely honored to be in front of A.R. Rahman, sir, today, and Clinton, sir, Bianca. Um, I'm going to perform some fun pop tunes in the beginning, and then we'll go on to playing some originals from Nexa Music. I have Chirag on the guitar. And yeah, thank you very much, Nexa Music and QK for, for giving this to us, giving us this platform. Love you, Nisa. <laughs> Love you too. Whew. All right. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> song we did with AR so called You Got Me. Check. Check, check. Hello, Hello everyone. everyone. <laughs> oh my god. That's why we're called Symmetry. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much Nexa and Kyuki for bringing, bringing us all together again. It's been so much fun hanging out with you guys. We're going to be singing You Got Me. Thank you. Thank you so thank much, you. everybody. Thank you so much, Yaraman, sir. And thank you, Clinton, sir, for both. Uh, yes, Nirmika. Yes. Shout out to Nirmika. Nirmika. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank, thank you, so everyone. Much. Thank you, Joey. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. This season, and it is called, it is called, okay, then I will tell you, of course. It's called Elevate. Here we go. Executive Director of Marketing and Sales, Maruti Suzuki India Limited, Oscar and Grammy winner composer A.R. Rahman Sir, and Ms. Nirmika Singh, the Executive Editor of Rolling Stone India, on the stage for a conversation on Nexa Music.
Thank you so much, Akriti, for that beautiful introduction. You're welcome. You're welcome, sir. Amazing. This feels like home for all of us because all of us have been stakeholders, investees in this beautiful journey called Nexa Music. My name is Nirmika Singh, and I can tell you, could we have some silence there, please? Thank you. You know, we often remark uh, that uh, India is brimming with talent. There's talent in every quarter. There are people with diverse, you know, skills. And we're also lamenting about the fact that the talent does not get opportunity or enough opportunity. But I can tell you with a lot of thrill, delight, and a lot of pride and privilege that Nexa Music has been able to fill that deficit in a way that is truly inspiring, sir. And I think that the words couldn't, you know, uh, hold true even greater in today's scenario where you know, the, while there is a lot of talent, the lack of discoverability and the lack of, lack of amplification and the lack of amplification really makes it difficult for people to stand out. So what they need today is mentorship. They, get, they need the guidance and they also need amplification from the right sources. Uh, Akriti, you revealed that the name, the album name for this year is Elevate. And yeah, sir, I do want to ask you, while we have seen the creative mentorship guidance and the amplification from your end, what does Elevate symbolize for Brand Nexa and for you personally? We constantly, we, um, we get up every day and we need motivation. So I think it's a magic word. Elevate is a magic word for me because you're constantly thinking, how can I make my song better? How can I make my studio better? How can you make a voice or singing sound better? How can you make lyrics you know, sure. make much more sense with all the stuff and wholesomely, how can you make, inspire to elevate. Absolutely. So in everything, I think it's a magic word for us. Yeah. Absolutely. And Shashank San, you know, um, brands don't often do this. We see talent hunts come and go. And while they're able to offer a trophy or a prize money, they're not really hand holding the talent, which is what most of us need. Could you tell us what elevate symbolizes for brand next, sir? Um, yeah, so it, this is not about competition. This is about, uh, as you mentioned, discovering real good talent of India for composing original English music. Discover and then, of course, to mentor, to make them better. And uh, this process is called elevation. This whole thing about getting better, better, getting inspiration for being better. And I think uh, Rahman Bhai just mentioned uh, that, you know, every day, whatever you are doing, you have to be better. Sure. And today, of course, we are talking Elevate uh, with respect to the next time music. So it's about a journey. It's an evolution. And that's why the name Elevate. And brand Nexa is about creation and inspiration. And this is what uh, it made us support and uh, uh, this uh, particular venture, this, uh, because it's something which gels so well with our brand, uh, the Nexa. It's about creation and inspiration, as I said. Hence the name, and I think it's very apt, the name has to be Elevate. Beautiful, of course. It's so uh, poignant when you say that elevation and elevate is something that we need to imbibe in our daily habits. Uh, yeah, sir, we know that you know your mentorship has been a guiding force for everyone. You know all the artists. I want to know from you what have been your most you know memorable moments from the process of mentoring the you know talent from Nexa season one. Um, back starting ninety one composing for movies, you know I've been almost three generations now. So sometimes I have to unlearn many things, which I know, because that's going to stagnate the sound or anything. So when I look at younger artists, like the winners here now, yeah, the enthusiasm in the eyes, the interest, and the questions they ask, the way they sometimes sing, it's like, oh my God, that's a better way of singing than doing something else. So that comes naturally. They don't have any luggage of previous old knowledge. They come with today's knowledge. They come, they learn so many things on the internet. And their passion for the music is much more than being very cynical or pessimistic like the previous generations like us. <laughs> oh, India, English music, I don't think it will sell. So they're very more, and things are happening according to their manifestation, which is great. Yeah, so. 
Of course, sir, and more power to everybody. Um, Shashank, sir, you know, uh, a lot of us rock musicians in the house and people who've been making music and performing in the English language category <clears throat> have always been complaining that there aren't enough stages, there aren't enough opportunities, and why don't people care about in India, you know, about English music as much as they should be. <clears throat> I want to know why was it important for Nexa Music to associate with a niche segment? And we've got diversity, but this is, you know, one segment that has a lot of patronage, has a lot of support, but not enough amplification and not enough opportunities. Yeah, absolutely. Actually, um, uh, 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 you know, uh, English music was never really uh, supported in a big way because people uh, felt it was really niche and it didn't have the scalability in India. But uh, I think one of the brand values which Nexa has apart from being uh, for, for of creation and inspiration is also about global, sure. about innovation. And I think uh, Nexa, the English composition really breaks that uh, barrier. It can bring it uh, to scale on a global level. Only thing is we have to do it well. Sure. And um, I think that's what we are trying to do. And uh, we hope that every season will be bigger. So it's really because of that. And we thought there was a really great connect with our consumers as well. So Nexa consumers uh, do like um, content of English music. And that's the other reason why we wanted to support the English music uh, composition. Uh, language, we, I mean, we believe music breaks all barriers of language. Um, I was discussing uh, before we came here with Rahman Bhai that in India there are many different states with different languages. So music breaks not only those regional barriers uh, in our country, but also the barriers across countries on a global scale. And I think that's uh, the beauty about uh, this music. And that's one big reason why it matches with our uh, core value of global. And that's why this support. Uh, and we'll continue with that. We want to make it bigger. And uh, we have some great ideas. Thanks to Rahman Bhai. He's been really, uh, uh, you know, giving us this guidance. Uh, not just mentoring uh, music talent, but giving us great ideas as well. So thank you for that, Rahman Bhai. Thank you. So your thoughts on promoting the English language original segment in India? I think to excel, um, language doesn't matter. So music is a universal language. But because in the English language, so many, the literature, poetry, uh, pop music and rock music and all this stuff and hip hop now um, they've set a standard and in a way I think it's time for you know a place like India to come up with great ideas for the world otherwise they're going to be in the same rut and uh, the filth which is used in the language can be changed by noble thoughts and you know we, we can take from our own traditions and still make that as a universal platform to uh, do songs which are very original from this part of the you know, take the vibration and the sensibilities from an English language music perspective, but bring, come up with original ideas. And even though it sounds very challenging, I think it can be done. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, sir. And more power to everyone once again. Might I also mention that uh, it is only natural that, it, that in its second season, Nexa is scaling new and global heights. The jury for Nexa Music will be, of course, uh, we have, you know, the creative mentorship of A.R. Rahman, sir, also t the teams from QKey and Nexa. The shortlisted 24 lab participants will be provided assistance and support from international music publishers, such as Fairwood Music and Conic Records, under the Indian music publisher, Turnkey Music and Publishing Private Limited for the production of the music compositions. Uh, this is unheard of, unprecedented, and could we have a big round of applause for just scaling these new big heights. It's not, it's not every day that we get to, you know, talk about these amazing, you know, combining of forces. On that note, sir, I'm very curious to know um, whether as, you know, as someone who has, uh, who's widely known for empowering talent across your work in film with brands and beyond, and, you know, young people really uh, uh, exchanging creative synergies with you. Do you feel a certain artistic responsibility towards fostering a new generation of creative professionals? And why so? I think we trigger from each other. You know, when, when I meet uh, great talent, you know, we also um, share philosophies, we share um, great thoughts. Sometimes it could be uh, the most simple things which can be put in the most beautiful way, by the style of the singing, by, by, by the tune, 
and so there's no masters here. We all learn from each other. I keep saying that, and I really mean it. Why? Because, um, for instance, uh, there's a DAW workstation from Apple called Logic, and I've been using it from '96. And um, so we teach Logic in our conservatory, and the boys who are coming out from KM know better shortcuts than me. So, uh, <laughs> like, when did you learn that stuff? <laughs> so, it's like, it's like that. So, the, what? teaches uh, musicians like Norman Clinton and we have we have a certain we've seen uh, some stuff um, and that is a wisdom yeah. why how it will come there's a there's a patience there's a hope there's faith in people we know that okay he's, she's going to sing again and it'll be correct we want to react some on, on a song which has been built with a sense of patience and you know calmness about it so that's what we give them I said don't 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 worry, the life is a long journey. Wow. We've seen it all, but and in exchange, we get the enthusiasm. We get the fire which younger people have, and the new uh, ideas, the new generation, the new thought process, which how the mind, they are, yeah. So that in exchange for that. Oh, beautiful! Aren't we going back from this conversation truly inspired? Thank you, sir. And I can, of course, attest to the fact how amazing it is. And, you know, when people talk about collaborators, I mean, I've had the personal privilege of collaborating. I cannot uh, stress enough the, the wisdom that we take away and the inspiration, which really exceeds the value of just the music that we create. So thank you so much for your words. And um, Shashank San, you know, um, we know that the first season created people who have now gone from strength to strength. They've got their songs, you know, the, the, there's recognition, there's fame, there is performances, and all of that is happening. Again, my curiosity is towards the things that the brand has benefited from really having, you know, um, cut its teeth into this new segment and empowered it in ways that we hadn't seen before. Yeah. Um. So they are all creative guys here. So I'm a little afraid to give you a corporatish <laughs> answer. But the uh, we have a, a great connect with the brand. I mentioned sure. that, and you know we have uh, uh, from a marketing KPIs perspective, we have uh, uh, we monitor the scores, which are uh, uh, how our brand is being helped. For example, uh, uh, the the Nexa season, the season one of the Nexa music. It uh, increased our uh, ad recall about 15% uh, and 21% up on brand awareness. Um, there were 1,000 plus um, uh, entries, uh, 34 videos uploaded on, uh, uh, on, on the Nexa Music site, and we had about 75 million views. Wow. So that's uh, very positive for the brand. Sure. But more than that, uh, I mean, that was the corporatish <laughs> part, but more than that, I think. Uh, it's also a duty of uh, corporates to try to support a lot of talent which is there in our country, which doesn't get discovered. And I think uh, that is more satisfying to Nexa as a brand, something which changes the lives and supports a very good cause, I think, which is to to promote English music, uh, comp fresh music, and discover real good t artists and talent, and to promote them on a global uh, scale, I think that gives the most satisfaction for the brand. I'm sure, I'm sure it's a truly rewarding experience. A big round of applause. I think the numbers are also a testament to the fact that people are watching, right? And people are appreciating, and the engagement, and you know, people are loving the music, of course. Um, you know, before I open uh, the house to questions, so my last one for you is about the message that you have for everyone who's probably watching you right now, will be watching, message to young, you know, rebellious kids who want a career in music. What would A. Rahman say that? I think we are, we are in a, a great uh, time where you don't have to teach how to discover yourself how to stand out from the clutter, how to express what you want in a very more dignified, poetic way where you're not explicit in that, but you, you tell it in a way metaphoric or symbolic, not on the nose. So be yourself, that's it. Be yourself and if you place yourself on, on any of the streaming platform, Apple, Spotify or anything, sure. you should stand out. I've discovered many people on Spotify playlists. I call them, I said, 
I loved your song. And, and then they, they come in and sing some of my songs. It's kind. And so that's what should happen. And each should feast from each other and they should all gain and become great musicians. Buy a lot of flats in Mumbai. <laughs> Sir is watching. Oh, yes. And we've seen that real time. Amazing. It is truly a journey of discovery. And uh, I think authenticity and collaboration are two big tenets that bind us together at Nexa Music. And we're inviting questions now from the audience. Hi, uh, my name is Atul Chudamani. I'm from Turnkey Music. Uh, so I just wanted to add one thing when you asked about uh, Nexa and what it gave the brand. I think what it gave the brand is this immediate connection with music. Hmm. Any music conference we go to, it is impossible not to hear the word Nexa wow. music somewhere. Yeah. So I think hats off to the entire team behind it, to Nexa of course for doing this to AR and to the QK team. I think you've done a phenomenal job thank because you, I was actually feeling very uh, upset that I was left out of it uh, last year. Aww. Now you're happy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm delighted. <laughs> it's just the beginning, I feel like. It's just scratching the surface. I agree with you. Yeah, seriously. That's brilliant because, uh, Atulji, you're taking us global, aren't you? Or what do you Okay, is everyone scared or what uh, to ask yeah, questions hi. here? We've got, okay. Am I audible? Uh, yes, we can hi. hear you. Hi, uh, this is Suhail from Instant Bollywood. Uh, congratulations to you all. Uh, Rahman sahab, uh, yeah, yeah, this side, yeah. Uh, uh, just so that like, English music you are promoting, you have plans for like, you know, may maybe Hindi music or any regional, maybe it could be Telugu, Tamil or Malayalam, anything like you know, On that grounds, are you working now? I think our movie industry is doing that great, you know. Whenever we do a Tamil song or a Telugu song or a Hindi song, it goes global. I think... Here, the kids want something in par with international, you know, uh, scalability or, you know, connection. And this has been like every youth, because the expression when, when they're studying in a convent or they're studying English medium, they all want to be up there getting the Grammys and Oscars and everything. So, uh, language is not a barrier, but English helps a bit more. Because every instruction manual I studied was in English. That's why I could, you know, operate the computer or a, or a music, you know, I can do a physical modeling or FM synthesizers, all because I could read everything in English. There were no manuals in Hindi or Tamil or Telugu. So that's one thing maybe, you know, we can start doing, but right now English is a good universal language to start. Brilliant. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you so thank much you for yeah, your... Oh, there are questions. Shall okay. we take another yeah, hi. one? We'll take another one. Sorry, but we have to <laughs> yeah, there is an amazing partner called Nexa Music who's doing yes. something. F uh, so, so let's stick to that. Yeah. Stick to yeah. that okay? So, if so there are questions look. regarding that, more than happy to take. Okay. okay. Uh, so when you when you said that you know you go to Spotify, you hear songs and other things. How far do you think social media has also helped? Uh, you know, uh, it's broken the barriers. It's broken the barriers, and no fortifying people saying. Only my music should be heard. Only my composition should be heard. That's, that's broken. So, you know, it, it makes us all, you know, stand at the edge. And if I'm not good, some kid is going to do something in the bedroom which is going to take over the world. That's what happened with Billy Ellis, right? Same thing. And so it's good to put people on the edge and so that you have to come up with greatness. And you give and you take and that's the fun. That's why I'm alive now. Have you found some talent like that which we can see in season two? Yeah. Um, recently I found a girl called Abila Shasana. She was on Spotify. I called her. She's singing in one of the movies. Then um, the many people actually, whenever I, I hear some great voices, I put them on Facebook or Twitter. I just, I feel like it's lovely. It's very cool. Yeah. Thank you. What kind of uh, English music you personally love? Like, you know, and you still follow that? Right now I don't, right now, there's no, I think India's, it's, the world is waiting for India. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Tell me which, which music is, yeah, seriously. Yes, yes, yes. They're all out of ideas. They're just repeating. <laughs> <laughs> the best answer ever. Yeah. Absolutely. 
India Rising. Thank you so much. I, I just one last question. Can I ask? Like, okay, sure. How do you see the young talents of today? And as you said, every day is a learning process. You know, you also learn lots of things which you really, you know, maybe not knowing it. You know, so how do you see the young guys? And I discover. So when I go to Instagram, it's like which my daughter first installed for me. Rima. So I go on Instagram and I see some of the reels. I see uh, people, illustrators. I see uh, you know animators. I see musicians. I see Indian classical music. So much of Indian classical music. Sita players, Sarod players from different states and villages are putting stuff. We call them. Recently, uh, there's a movie called uh, Gandhi and Godse. We called um, plays which I never used before. I just call them from Instagram, and they came to our studio. We recorded. There's no intimidation, nothing. The music is the language, so we vibed straight. We recorded. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank